lovely day everyone today is Cinco de Mayo May 5th and we are gonna be launching my boat today Alright guys, uh, so we're on our way to pick up the boat. We are in Michigan. We're 10 minutes away. I'm here with my boy, Curious George. What's going on, people? First mate for today. You know how to launch a boat, George? No, actually I don't. I'm a motorcycle guy. <laughs> well, I don't know how to launch a boat, bro. So that's why I brought you. I thought you did. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But yeah, first we have to pick up the boat. I have it uh, stored here at Clearwater Marina in Benton Harbor, Michigan. People always ask me, where do you keep your boat during the winter? Uh, it's uh, stored indoors. Um, it's a dry place and uh, they take care of everything. They winterize it. Uh, they actually did a little bit of work for me in probably about two, three hours. We're actually gonna launch it at 31st Street Harbor. Uh, so we'll be back soon. Alright guys, we made it to Clearwater Marina. This is where I keep my boat. I don't see my boat though, so I'm going to get off and go talk to them. See where my baby's at. So this is where I keep my boat during the winter. Uh, it's Clearwater Marina over at Benton Harbor, Michigan. It's uh, priced pretty well. I actually found it last minute. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How can I help you? I'm here to pick up the Bayliner. Oh, okay. Stop. Oh, no. Are you? Arnold. Arnold. Okay. Yes. I was going to say Andrew. Let me put my mean tuggle in. <laughs> Come on. All right, guys. First time I see my boat in over five months. Here we go. So just looked at the boat, it looks good. Uh, they cleaned the hole, they uh, waxed it. It had a lot of dead algae, so um, they had to get all that stuff out. So I'm pretty happy overall with uh, what it looks like. Um, pretty clean and yeah, it'll do. Right now they're just gonna put my propeller on and uh, we'll be ready to go. We got the uh, boat on the trailer trailer on the truck and we are ready to go back to Chicago.
we finally made it out here to 31st Street Harbor. See the van back there, the boat. Uh, we're gonna go take a look at the ramp just to kind of see what the launch is gonna look like. Uh, then we're gonna load up the boat. Uh, put all the cushions in there all the life jackets everything that's gonna go because the actual slip is a little bit far away from The entrance so it's just gonna make it easier to get all that stuff out there uh, It's gonna be the first time we launched the boat Last time I had a friend shout out to Jim that helped me out. He pretty much did it all So uh, this is gonna be the first time that I'm really gonna be uh, on hand and you know uh, making the big decisions uh, launching this and hopefully everything goes well I think it will, uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the ramp real quick, see what we're working with here. Took a little bit longer because it was our first time, but uh, but we did it. Uh, so now we're on our way to dock the boat, and uh, that's another challenge. Uh, so hopefully uh, everything comes out good, and, uh, and yeah, we get to park this boat where it's gonna be at for the next uh, six months. Uh, but everything looks beautiful out here. It's a little bit cold, but uh, uh, this feels great. All right, guys, check it out. Alright, we're on our way to dock the boat. Uh, everything looks great, everything looks beautiful. Hopefully we're able to dock it successfully, which I think we should, you know, but it's been a few months since I've docked uh, onto a slip, so we'll see. But yeah, this harbor just looks incredible. Look at that skyline, it's just insane. Back in the water. Uh, as you can see, the boat is um, tied up. So to uh, toast, I ended up getting this uh, pretty cool Jamaican bottle of rum. It's um, it's a plantation rum uh, from 2003. So it's been uh, aged for a pretty long time. Uh, let's see what it tastes like. Uh, this is what the bottle looks like. Although it's Cinco de Mayo and I know we're supposed to be drinking tequila, we'll drink tequila later on. But for now, uh, because we just launched the boat and, uh, you know, that kind of makes us pirates, we're going to celebrate with uh, rum. Glory. <laughs> oh. Cheers, guys. Salute to a successful launch. To Sahara. And to Sahara. Oh, all right. We'll walk. Let's walk and uh, sip. sip. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably have to make this into uh, pina coladas or something. <laughs> what uh, a waste, though, right? To blend that into like pina coladas, though. All right, guys. So as you can see, the launch was a success. We picked up the boat over at Benton Harbor, Michigan, which was about a two-hour drive. Uh, brought it back to Chicago. Launched it docked it and uh yeah i'm here in my slip now uh, everything went pretty well we did have a few hiccups but nothing major uh today i organized all my gear put all my life jackets away made sure uh everything was good um i'll clean it on a warmer day because it's pretty cold today 
Um, but yeah, everything's good. Uh, I only have a small situation right now. So this harbor has a beautiful view to the Chicago city skyline, a really nice view. Um, but turns out that where my slip is at, you don't get that view. We have all those trees back there. Like I'm dead center in the, in, in the middle of all the trees. So uh, the trees block the view. I, I called the Chicago uh, Harbor office and um, submitted an application to be moved a little bit uh, further down the middle, more towards the entrance. Uh, where you have a really nice unobstructed view of the skyline. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we might move over there um, If we don't no big deal, you know, we'll do that next year I'm sure we're gonna get that view uh, Plentiful when we're out in the water and when we're coming in and all that stuff. So not too worried, but it's always nice to, to have a a uh, a nice view when you're just uh, hanging out at the dock and you know just relaxing and I'm sure uh, my guests will appreciate that as well especially at night that view is just really nice at night um, but yeah other than that um, everything is good uh, it was my first time launching the boat last year when I purchased the boat uh, I had to pick it up in Detroit Michigan um, so I'm on my way there with zero experience in power boating, I was supposed to launch the boat that same day back in Indiana at Hammond Port Authority. Um, but again, I didn't know uh, how to launch a boat, how to drive a boat, power boat. I, I had no idea what I was gonna do. Um, but uh, I just felt and knew that everything was gonna be okay. Um, what I ended up doing, about two hours into my drive uh, to Detroit, I looked up the Hammond Port Authority Facebook group. Uh, I'm like, you know, that harbor's got to have a Facebook group. Most harbors have a, a Facebook group. And then, um, yeah, just pretty much um, made a post uh, asking if anyone would be there, I believe around 4.30 when I was set to be back um, with a boat uh, at Hammond Port. If anyone would be there uh, and if they could possibly help me launch the boat and uh, right away I got an answer from Mike shout out to Mike um, and then Jim and Dan helped me launch it they didn't help me they actually did everything for me they backed up the trailer launched it uh, docked it tied it up made sure everything was good and really you know really good people over there um, so this year I uh, again I had never launched the boat but I kind of saw what they did and I looked at some YouTube videos um, and I could have asked for help. I, I, I know, um, you know, some of the guys would have helped me out, um, but I, I, I wanted to do it myself. Um, and it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard at all. Uh, and it went good. Um, but, you know, um, one of the lessons is uh, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help and uh, don't be afraid of destiny either. Uh, if you feel like things will just uh, be okay, then they will be okay. I always ask myself, what's the worst that could happen, right? Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned for my next one. I think uh, in my next video, I'll probably um, give you guys a tour of the boat. Alright, so uh, be sure to like and subscribe uh, and share. Share with your friends. Alright, have a good one guys.